Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a review on the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. Um, so I have two. I have this one, which is, is there a name? I think it's Topaz Twinkle. And then I have this one, which is Peach Prism. First off, um, I'll go ahead and go onto the website and see if there's anything that I can read out about them. There's 10 different shades um, in the eye art. Their description is Dazzle with the latest in makeup artistry, coordinating shadow duos with satin and sparkle finishes, create unique customized eye looks. Um, coordinated shades and contrasting finishes make it easy to design an eye look that's all your own. Intense, intensely pigmented cream shadow on one end and a brilliant sparkle on the other. Cream shadow glides on effortly for smooth, rich color. Um, use the slim brush applicator to apply sparkle to the lid as a liner, or on the tops, on or on the tips of lashes. Huh. Okay. So I've already got the rest of my face done. Um, I've got my foundation, like my face makeup, eyebrows, everything's done, um, and I've just put um, some color in the crease and in my inner corner. So. I think I'm going to be using Topaz Twinkle today. I'm going to start off with the cream side. I'll show you what the cream side looks like. So you open it up and it looks like this. Kind of looks like a lipstick. Let's... Oh, that's pretty. And the other side is the sparkle. Now this... Um, brush seems a bit thick um, but we'll see how it goes so that's the two of them I have a feeling I'm gonna have a hard time with the glitter side okay so let's just start off straight away uh, I'm gonna zoom you in and we will apply this so I think oh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do I might try to do like a cut crease type thing Let's just see how we go. This could turn out to be a complete mess. It's going on very nicely. Very smoothly. And it's very pigmented and shiny. I feel like it's taking a while to dry. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of dry. It's very pigmented, so it's very, very pigmented. It's very smooth to apply. Um, and it's got this really beautiful shine to it. I'm just going to let it dry and then I'm going to fix up around the edges um, and blend this side. Now let's do the glitter side. So I'm not too sure where I want to put the glitter. Maybe like on the inner corners of the cut crease. That's pretty. It's still very wet. I can feel that it's still very wet. So what I'm gonna do right now is just since I'm just waiting for it to dry properly, I'm just gonna come back after I have my lashes on and stuff and we can talk about 
um, what I think so far. Um, yeah, I'll come back later on, like maybe like right before I'm about to take off my makeup and see if it's like crumbled and stuff. Okay, so I've applied my lashes um, and done all that. The only thing is the glitter did take a while to um, to dry. It took like five minutes or so. Um, it just got to the point where I couldn't be bothered waiting to do it to um, do my lashes. I just started doing my lashes because it was just taking so long for it to dry. But that's the only thing that I don't really like. But I kind of want to see because on the website it did say that you could put the glitter on the tips of your lashes. So I want to see how that works. So I'm going to go in the glitter and I'm wearing falsies at the moment. Um, and I'm just going to put this on the tips and see how that looks. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but it does look pretty cool. It gives a little bit extra. It's actually really cute. I like that. I'll try to zoom in a little bit more just in case you can't see it. I don't know if you can see the glitter on the tip of my lashes. But I kind of like that. That looks pretty cute. Okay, so my thoughts so far is the cream side is beautiful it's so smooth to apply um it's very pigmented and it has a very beautiful um like shine to it um so i love that um the glitter is also like a really it's really nice there's it's not like stingy on the um on the actual glitter it's actually pretty well glittered because <laughs> um sometimes when I will go into like a glitter liner or something, there will be like parts of glitters and it will just be like that um, goopy stuff everywhere else. It would be pretty shady. Um, but this is really, really nice. The only thing is with the glitter, it does take a while for it to, um, <clears throat> for it to dry. Um, the cream side was pretty fast at drying. It took about like a minute to dry, um, but not like too fast where you can't work with it. Um, it was just like the perfect drying time. Uh, it's just the glitter on the other hand. It just took a really long time for it to dry. Um, but yeah, so that's what I think so far. So far it's looking really nice. It doesn't look like it's cracking or anything or crumbling right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to keep on wearing this until, um, until it's time to take it off. <laughs> um, but I will come back and show you guys what it looks like at the end of my day uh, yeah so i'll be back when it's time to take my makeup okay so it's now 10 past 8 so i've had this on for about 10 hours and i must say i am pretty impressed um i'm gonna zoom you in so you can see um how it's looking up close okay, so it has cracked a tiny bit um it's mainly like crumbling just a little tiny bit it's just cracking a little bit just here um in the inner corner um pretty much where um i've also put the glitter but it's not bad it still looks really nice it still looks pretty flawless it almost looks the exact same as when i first put it on so yeah so it's pretty much the exact same as when i first put it on just like a minor um, cracking, um, just, a, just a tiny bit, but overall this is awesome. I am, I am loving this. Um, so the one that I used, the one that I used was the um, Topaz Twinkle again, um, but yeah, it looks awesome. And I've also had a couple of compliments on my eye makeup today, which is a plus. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I only have two, but I'm going to buy um, a bunch more colors from this um, because it's just, it's, it's really nice. It's really worthwhile. I would definitely 100% recommend this product. Um, even if you're struggling with cut creases, this is just so easy. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, and let me know in the comments if you have um, a Revlon photo ready IR and if you do, what color do you have? Um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.